Ben Kenschlow, the beloved co-host of the 700 Club for nearly two decades, died in the early morning hours on July 18th. Known for his great sense of humor and warm personality, his friendship with Pat Robertson and fellow co-hosts made for fun, often unpredictable shows. The son of a Methodist minister, Ben served 13 years in the U.S. Air Force, and after accepting Christ in the 70s, directed drug and alcohol rehab programs in Texas and founded a ministry for teens. After being invited to speak on the 700 Club, Ben was asked back to host the program. Well, you didn't know you were going to be a host. You thought you were just coming down from Colleen to be with us. You exactly. I had no idea, thing? no clue. So you came here thinking, what, that you were going to just help with the phones or no, something? No, yeah, I thought it was going to be out in the audience. You can see we had a, a, a director, and he would be out there with the, with the people and say, you know, Pat, on the, on the cell, we just got a call that came in from somebody. You know, and I could do that, right? Yeah. No big deal. <laughs> So I'm sitting out there and then I'm doing that, you know, and then you know, I'm, I'm shaking hands with the council. Hey, how you doing? So good to see you. What a pleasure to be and everything. You know, and I said, no, there's a floor director kept looking at me. And, you know, I thought, wonder why he's looking at me. But anyway, I just kept shaking hands. And I said, Mr. Kitchen, we got about two minutes before air. Would you take your place? So I thought, well, they want to hear some more of my testimony. So I went over and sat down in the guest chair. Yeah. And I was sitting in the guest chair, you know, and just looking out there going, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and he kept looking at me real strangely. And I said, Mr. Kinsler, we got about a minute before we go in the air. Would you please take your place? And I thought, you know what? This would be a great time to ask where my place is. <laughs> so I said, well, where am I supposed to sit? He looked like I'd punched him in the belly. He said, what? They didn't tell you? I said, tell me what? He said, Pat and Henry and the Israel, you're the host of the 700 Club. <laughs> this led to a full-time co-hosting slot. And he also assumed the role of helping start Operation Blessing. <laughs> Called me up here, we talked about this vision he had had from the Lord. Lord, the Lord gave me Isaiah 58. And he said, we're going to go out and help the poor. We're going to feed the hungry. And we're going to send. He said, that's great, Pat. That's absolutely spectacular. He said, yes, we're going to call it Operation Blessing. I thought, man, that's great. I'm sitting over in a chair like this. I said, Pat, that's just great. He said, we're going to call it Operation Blessing. I said, that's great. He said, yeah, and you're going to be in charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good at that, you know? <laughs> Famous for his engaging interview style, he also loved the opportunity to share Christ with the viewers of the 700 Club. You can say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. He'll change your life. He'll give you what you've really been looking for all of your life. And yes, all of those pieces that are missing, you're saying, why doesn't this satisfy me? Why am I still have this nagging longing for something? It's Jesus. <laughs>